How you sleeping, dude? How you sleeping, dude? Gentlemen, gentlemen, listen up, y'all. Here's the new plan. You're gonna start a riot, and we're gonna walk out the front door. <laughs> hey, man. I know guys on crack that makes more sense than you. Really? Then let me put it to you this way, cuz. Former U.S. President George Bush and his former counterpart Tony Blair were found guilty of war crimes by the Kuala Lumpur War Crimes Tribunal, which held a four-day hearing in Malaysia. The five-panel tribunal unanimously decided that Bush and Blair committed genocide and crimes against peace and humanity when they invaded Iraq in 2003 in blatant violation of international law. The judges ruled that war against Iraq by both the former heads of states was a flagrant abuse of law and an act of aggression which amounted to a mass murder of the Iraqi people. Bush and Blair are uh, found guilty under the same law that applied to the Nazis uh, after the end of uh, World War II. Uh, so uh, they are uh, international criminals guilty of Nuremberg crimes against peace and they should be uh, prosecuted by any state in the world that gets a hold of them. And we will continue our efforts to bring Bush and Blair to justice and put them in jail. In their verdict, the judges said that the United States, under the leadership of Bush, forged documents to claim that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction. They further said the findings of the tribunal be made available to members of the Rome Statute and the names of Bush and Blair be entered into a war crimes register. There is also a recommendation uh, that this be circulated to states because all states have universal jurisdiction and therefore whenever Bush or Blair appear within their shores, there is an obligation under international law to uh, commit these um, uh, criminals, international war criminals, through the justice system. Both Bush and Blair have repeatedly said the so-called war against terror was targeted at terrorists. Lawyers and human rights workers who are present here today say that the verdict by the tribunal is a landmark decision and the Kuala Lumpur War Crimes Tribunal say that they would persuade and lobby with the International Criminal Court to charge former US President George Bush and former British Prime Minister Tony Blair for war crimes charges. Maheshwari Ramakrishnan, Press TV, Kuala Lumpur. Oh, hell no. Following the filing of charges of criminal conspiracy against Dick Cheney and others, Halliburton executives and some former top U.S. officials initiated a move to discuss with Nigerian government officials. Mr. Cheney was Halliburton's chief executive before becoming vice president to George W. Bush in 2001. The Nigerian Attorney General and Minister of Justice is at the head of the delegation that met with Halliburton officials in London, England, to find alternative to the prosecution of former Vice President Dick Cheney. The Nigerian Economic and Financial Crimes Commission says negotiation is a better alternative. The whole essence of a prosecution is to punish the offender and to also um, serve as deterrence. Now, are we achieving these two reasons with plea bargain? I'll say yes. The offenders in this case, they are paying heavily. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission had filed 16 charges against Mr. Cheney. Halliburton Chief Executive David Laser and two other executives. At the meeting between Halliburton officials and the Nigerian negotiation team, the American Oil Services Multinational resolved to pay Nigeria the sum of $120 million. In addition to um, repatriation of over $130 million U.S. dollars trapped in Switzerland, bringing the total to 250 million US dollars. 
experts have severely criticized this cash for crime arrangement. For God's sake, they were making a great mistake. We don't understand what fight against corruption means because the point remains that corruption is corruption. Are we trying to cover something because right now we're talking about it involving government officials? Plea bargain is not in our legal system. But EFCC has taken now to be a part of the legal system, which is unacceptable. The charges against Dick Cheney stem from a case involving bribes of $180 million paid to win contract to build the $6 billion liquefied natural gas plant for Nigeria. The firm paid $579 million in fines related to the case in the U.S. The deal with the Nigerian officials is expected to be sealed by the end of this week. Anjum Abdullahi, Press TV, Abuja. Hi there. How are you sleeping? Good. Gentlemen, listen up, y'all. Here's the new plan. You're going to start a riot, and we're going to walk out the front door. <laughs>